our whole religion is to train us and to teach us from withholding from desires. Now, why? Let's let's take this outside of sexual morality for, 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 for just a moment. Let's talk about dietary morality. Can we agree there's a such thing as dietary morality? Should you eat everything you want? No? Did your parents allow you to have Nutella and ice cream for breakfast when you were a kid? Some people do. I don't know. Like, some, some indulgent dessert. You right. sometimes want that, but is that good for you? Okay, why don't you identify as somebody who likes ice cream with Nutella on there? Right. Oh, who cares what you want? We can see it. The desire, no, no, no. If you follow every desire you have, you will harm yourself. You will harm yourself. And so we have boundaries, we have guidelines, we have teachings that help us to live a life that's healthy. Everything in our religion is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reason that anything is haram is because it's a protection for us. It's very important to understand this. So when you know something is haram, even if you don't understand it or doesn't sit right, you're like, wait, really? That I didn't know. Really? That is haram? Oh, yeah. Here's the verse. SubhanAllah. There must be something, some good in abstaining from that that I can't see. And there, or there must be some harm in doing it that I don't see. But I trust the one who said right? it. That's a very important place to be. But you have to understand, haram and halal are not arbitrary. Right? It's not that Allah just tests us with some things. We may not know every wisdom behind a prohibition. But we know that the Lord that sent it is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, are his two most... Uh, central attributes, and he sent the messenger that's rahmatan al a mercy to all the worlds. Right? So when we start there, we say, okay, this has to be good for us. So the same way, so your parents, I see most of you guys are teens. When you were younger, because right now you guys are all mature, your parents would tell you things like what? You got to do your homework or else you can't do A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Right? Why would your parents regulate you doing your homework? What's that? You never do your homework. Okay. So some of you that might be older, or if your parents aren't in your lives, maybe you live alone, or you're in college, do you have to be, do you have to have reward and punishment to do your homework? Why? Because your parents taught you, absolutely, but it's now become internalized. You know that doing homework is what? It's good for you. And leaving your homework undone is what? Bad for you. So why did your parents need punishment and reward when you were younger? To teach you. Because at that stage, you're too what? You're too dumb. Let's just be real. No, right? we all are. When we're young, we, our desires are so strong that they cannot guide us to what's good for us and bad for us. And so a wise parent, alhamdulillah, most of you have, have, have good parents, which you should be very grateful for. We're going to get to that. You have right. good parents who tell you, no, 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 if you do this, I'll, I'll give you that. If you do this, or if you forget to do that, you don't get this privilege. And right. they're guiding you. And they give you the carrot and the stick, the reward and the punishment until you grow here. And you say, oh, I used to think my parents just didn't want me to have fun. Now I see my parents wanted good for me. So that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. He gives us the prohibitions. He warns us with punishment. He promises us reward, subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his generosity to guide us and to teach us.